Hello all and welcome to another video. So today I'm in North Wales. I kept in my van last night, left four o'clock this morning from Mid Wales to get up here and I'm in a place called Pen Mower. Now it's the other side of Conway as you would have seen in the video. I went over the bridge and past the castle and I'm here for a very interesting uh, piece of history and it's going to be a very different video because it's mainly going to involve drone footage so without further ado let's get into this video so Penmine Mowers Quarry which obviously had that clock on that's nicknamed the Big Ben of North Wales. So the clock was actually made and put there in the 1930s and it's actually a granite quarry and believe it or not it is actually 12 foot that clock is. Um, I was struggling for signal currently where I am so I was pooing myself to be brightly because I kept on losing signal and at one point the screen just went back and I had to press home and just hope the drone come back. Um, I may have to just find a better spot for signal because I'm bound to be able to get better signal somewhere. So I am going to try. But there is a nice bit of history in it, and apparently people would see it on Conway Beach. It's seen by millions um, a year as they're driving past on the motorway. And an amazing fact, it still shows the correct time. It is slowly being hid away by trees, as you can see. I just think it's something cool that you guys may not know about. I've passed this stretch of motorway probably a good 10 times coming up here for abandoned buildings and I've never seen it. So it is just an interesting little artifact really just outside Conway. So I don't think you can get in there because I don't know if it's still an active quarry or not to be honest. I know people who have but in this weather I'm not equipped. I'm not willing to try to be honest. Um, I'm gonna try find somewhere better and hopefully the weather calms down a bit. Um, but the signal here, because I'm in amongst the trees, I thought oh, I'd be head away, no one to see what I'm doing. Um, maybe if I can find a local that I think looks cool, I'll um, give them a try. My auto lock is locked because of the rain. I'm just gonna head back to the van now and like I said, see if I can find a better place with a bit better signal because I'm not really happy with my footage of the clock yet so hopefully I can improve it. After a bit of a failure with um, the Big Ben of North Wales, I've came back to Conway um, to just explore. And as you can see, lovely shot of Conway Castle in the background. I'm going to move further away because I don't know if that's going to copyright me. Um, but yeah, I've come back to Conway, and basically, Conway is one of these interesting villages. It's like Carnarvon in a way because the village is in the middle of the castle. Um, it's raining quite bad. I'm gonna go to the smallest house now, get some B-roll. I'm probably gonna go in it because it's one pound fifty to be honest, so it's worth going in just for a quick look and to grab a video. But yeah, we're in Conway now. I'll explain some more history and I'll show you some of the town. So I've paid the one pound fifty now to come in the UK's fullest house. And here we go. The last inhabitant was a fisherman who was six feet three Let's get up. Yeah. It is one pound fifty to enter. Oh, that's the highest. 
As you can see, there's literally just a bedroom and the living room. And this is what you call absolutely tiny. The seat of the settle against the wall lifts up and the coal is kept underneath. That was a cool little place. I mean, for £1.50, you can't really complain, can you? I mean, it's just the novelty of it, really, isn't it? The woman got a photo for me outside. I also got some on my film camera. Um, she noticed the accent as well, which was nice and chatting to me. And, yeah, I'm just heading towards the castle now, just to get some photos, etc. I don't think I'll go in, because I don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, and then I think I'm just going to go grab a coffee or something, to be honest. Well, not a coffee, but a hot chocolate. Right, so I'm sorry this video is a little bit all over the place. So, you've seen I was at Conroy, you've seen that I went to the UK smallest house and then all of a sudden there was a jump back to the clock. Well, um, Daryl Timpton, shout out to him, Herb Exitaff, he wanted to meet up so he came to Conroy, we done a lap or two and then he said I'll take you to a better spot. So I found a much better spot, no signal, no signal issues as you can see some great footage i believe look at this view it was absolutely hammering down but now it's just clearing up um i'm coming back at the end of the month and i definitely want to visit Con uh, conway i don't want to go back now because i paid for four hours parking which was seven pound 20 so i don't exactly want to pay more parking so um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video so that was conway and pen mau Big Ben, North Wales Big Ben. If you do like adventure videos like this where I sleep in my van, discover cool places like this, go to t unique towns and city, please consider smashing the like button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.